Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're back at Fusion Motor Company with our friend Gil. This is one we've been really excited to shoot and today's the only day we can do it because this car already sold. Car's leaving. It's going to uh, Johnson's uh, Horsepower Garage. A good friend of ours. It's a special one, for sure. What year is it for one? It's a 56 Pontiac Star Chief, which, which you know, as you know, in its own right is, is unique, right? Because everybody's doing 55 Bel Airs, 57 Bel Airs, which I love, but this Never is seen totally one of these something different, correct? Yeah. Well, let's pop the hood and start sure. here. It's got an LSX crate engine with a Whipple charger on top. Right. Um, you know, LS3 heads. Obviously, you can see a ton of custom fabrication. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and it's estimating that this thing is is cranking out in the neighborhood of 900 plus. And, yeah. and you know, driving it, it feels every every bit of all that. Satin against the gloss uh, really sets off. Killer. It, it, it's such a cool thing to do on an engine bay because it really killer. does show it. They cover the coils by giving it a valve cover look. You mm -hmm. know, it's 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 a great touch, I think. And that's where it gets pricey in a custom, mm -hmm. I know for a fact, is when you start doing things like all the one-off elements that we see here from the, the intake for the supercharger to the, the one-off EVOD wheels. Sure. And here's a number that I know will freak some of you guys out and feel free to comment. I always love these comments, mm -hmm. but when you delve into the world of really high-end customs, the numbers get extraordinary on what a build right. can be. This car was, just, like, as I understand, just shy of a million bucks to build this right. car. Right, and, and you know, fabrication. You know, it, 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 it's part science, part art. And, and these For artists, sure. You know, they're, they, they don't come cheap for the type of work that they're doing on a car like this. For and sure. the list of components is so extensive. You've, you've, you could easily add up 300, 350, $400,000 just in components, stuff that we can all go online, research. This costs this much and, and you can add yep. it up. It's all there. You know, I know the engine's made to do a 4LADE transmission. Right. So you got the four speed auto. I mean, platform, the things, it's a Roadster Shop chassis under here. Roadster Shop chassis, um, you know, again, so when you're going back to adding those components up, I mean, we, we, we know what a Roadster Shop chassis cost. That headlight, the headlights on this are from a Harley, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, there must, uh, the, uh, you know, I don't really know um, the original, you know, owner, the, the commission, the bill, but yeah. I'm guessing that meant something to him. Yeah. And, and again, it's, it's that custom, personal touch and and yeah. you know got to tip your hat off to a builder that recognizes that and and did something special for their client found a way to make those headlights work obviously yeah. it's sitting on air we've got it aired yes. all the way down right yes. now you said it's got a, a few presets yeah right? so it's got it's got one which is basically parking on the grass and show it stance right uh, uh level two is probably the most comfortable driving level, right? right. Kind of nice ride height, drives well, doesn't bottom out. Mm -hmm. And then it's got a third setting that, you know, from my calculations, probably for loading and unloading or for a really steep uh, drive, it really takes the front nose yeah. really up high, yeah. lifts the whole car. Yeah, it's it's such a stellar car. I mean, the yeah. color is incredible on it. Yeah. And the top actually works too. It's an electric top, right? Absolutely, so you, yeah. It's, you just uh, unhook it's the latches from the windshield. A couple of latches on the windshield. Pull a pull a lever and it you know opens and closes you know yeah. seamlessly and looks looks pretty nice. Oh, it looks. I mean, the car looks better with the top down, but with For the sure. top up, it still looks amazing. Little touches. That's Again, where they relocated I, the fuel filler, I, huh? I, I, did they relocate or was it there originally? They did. I, I don't know, That's, but if you read that they did, obviously it's yep. an updated you know capless type tank. But yep. uh, again, seamless. Oh my God, this thing is stunning. It's just it's it's one off everywhere that you look too. Got your window controls. All your controls, window switches right there. All your there. power window controls. And that's magnetic again, so. Yep, it just, just it ties just, in nicely so it doesn't bounce around on you. Um, you got all your, you got your vintage air controls for the air conditioning. You got your electric e-brake right there. And then, you know, obviously when you fire it up, you get you all the lights for the, for the AccuAir. I want to see all that light up. There you go. You know, and you have your fuel injection. You know, oh, so you've DFI. got your whole management system yeah. over here. Yeah. And this is a one-off piece, I know for yes. sure. It, so this, because I can picture the original about out here. The original, yeah, maybe out to here even. Yeah, um, gigantic you know. and definitely not a tilt. This has got a tilt for us to make life easier. Well, I say we uh, close things up here. We fire this thing up and I yes, really, sir. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm completely excited at the idea of getting to drive this car. I don't care if it's five miles an hour for 30 seconds out here, just the idea of rolling along in this. I mean, this is one of those true rolling pieces of art. It well, really, and, and, truly and is. And you know what? And we're gonna see this on the drive. It's not all show. It's not all show. This car drives great. 
Maybe. It really does. Yeah, it drives great. And you're going to really enjoy it. You know, it's, it, it, you know, sometimes, sometimes these SEMA builds, you know, they're, they're meant I've to be on them. and off they're a trailer shows, and that's about driven. it. And, yep. and uh, mm -hmm. this, this car is, is a great driving car. That's awesome. You know, huh? cool. Let's do it. We're going to go for a drive, you guys. doesn't get at least 50 thumbs up along the way right I'd be shocked you know I hope I hope the mics are picking up the just a subtle whine from the supercharger you're not even on it but you can hear just a little whine yeah it's just just perfect you know it's not overtly loud we're not screaming at each other no nope. oh god but you get on it and there's a lot of car yep. there I just lost, lost a knob. knob all right that's all that torque wow dude there's a lot of I mean, I barely... Did you, did you feel it slipping a little bit? I barely touched the gas oh, yeah. pedal. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, that's the real deal. You guys, I can't explain how much power this car has. I mean, dude, I barely, barely touched it, and it just... I know. It just jumped. I know. What'd you say it is? Somewhere in the 800 plus range? 900 is what... I mean, the write-ups that I have on it is somewhere in the 900 uh, range. How about that sound? What a bitchin' car! Yep. Because this car, you could get away with it being 300 horsepower and total cruiser because it's more about the beauty. And they went deep, dude. This thing's making serious power. Now I'm a little gun shy of hitting the accelerator because this thing's just deadly. All right, I'm gonna go. Thanks, brother. Thanks. Thank you. This is one of those cars, even if you're not into cars, you're gonna give it a thumbs up, yes. you know? I don't know how you couldn't. It's just that, it's yeah. that level of quality. Yeah. Color choices are amazing. I mean, that blue with this color interior, this I don't like know what to call it. Is it coffee ish, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how you couldn't love this car. You might say it's not my thing, it's not for me, I wouldn't pay that kind of money, da 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 da, all the different things. You can't not love the beauty of this car, the richness of the It's colors. a piece of art. It really is. Right? Big heavy tank of a car stops really well with the brake set up on here. You hear the belt? Yeah, the belt is slipping, <laughs> isn't it? I didn't mean to do that, by the way. <laughs> Dude, I didn't, I'm telling you, like that was, if I was 30% throttle, I'd be shocked. This car just, yeah, I told you, it's not just all show. It's no. got plenty, plenty of go, right? Just, it's, God. it's all there. By far, one of the most astounding custom builds I've seen from the fit and finish to the power delivery to all the choices made in design. And here's a couple more that fall right into this category as we say goodbye and thanks for hanging and watching what we do. We'll see you in the next episode, you guys. Later, man.